Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make these display stands for bottle stoppers for the craft shows. And, for example, as this one here that I've made. And this time I did some tongue and dado joinery on this to make it stronger. What I did before was I did like this style and this is all a bunch of butt joints. The lucky thing is, is it's held up pretty good because all these joints were gluing together long grain joints, not any end grain joints. So that made it stronger. End grain joints, you know, they don't stay as strong. So anyways, uh, stay tuned here and I'll show you how I make this. The materials that I'm starting out with, first I've got here, this is all 3 8 inch thick craft board from Lowe's. Home Depot doesn't carry this, just Lowe's does, at least on this thickness. It's 3 8 inch thick, all these pieces are. I've got various widths here that I'm using, and these are all 3 foot long. This will give me 3 bottle stopper displays. First piece here, which is going to be back of the bottle stopper display, the highest rack, and it's a 7 inches wide. Now this is nominal lumber, so Let's see, like this one here is four inches. Put a tape measure to it, and you can see it's actually about three and a half inches. It's kind of like nominal lumber, like construction lumber. This is uh, more of a craft board. And really, it's like a clear pine. It's just plain down to a three-eighths inch thickness. So this will make for the back, which will be the tallest part. This will make for the base, which is a four-inch wide. This is going to make for the first vertical, or the first row in the display stand. And this is a three-inch wide. Then this is going to be the stopper holder which is a inch and a half and what I'll do is to drill the holes in these to hold the bottle stoppers themselves. So that's the materials we need. It's probably less than 10 bucks to make three of these play stands. So I have a couple of boards that I need to trim down the width of to make this. First one I'm going to trim down is the back board to be the tallest support for the bottle stopper holders. Trimming that down to four and a quarter inch wide. I've got the blade height set, so it's just above my board here. I'm gonna trim this down to four and a quarter inch wide. The second board that I was going to trim down to width is for the first vertical for supporting bottle stopper holder. And since this is a three inch wide, it's already at two and a half inches, which is the width that I need it to be. So I don't have to trim this one. Now, these are the two boards on which I'm going to make the tongues on. I'm going to make tongues on both the top and the bottom of each of these boards. Now for all the cuts hereafter, I set up my blade height at 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I set blade to 3 sixteenths of an inch. That height will stay at that height. For all my cuts, the only variation I'll make from here is my width of cut as I adjust my fence back and forth. Now setting all these cuts up at 3 sixteenths of an inch, and they're all going to be the same. I'm just changing the widths. So for making the length of the tongues here, I'm setting this up so the fence is 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the the outside of the blade edge here. And that'll give me my maximum width or depth for my tongue. Then I'll switch my fence over to the other side there and then trim out any excess that's left over. Flip it in for end and do the other side. So I can take up these two tracks. Then I'll adjust my fence over on the other side to clear off this excess. Alright, so these are the two vertical parts that are going to hold the parallel racks that bottle stoppers will sit into the holes inside of. Now my next step is going to be cutting the dados in the other boards that are going to attach to those vertical boards. This one's going to be for where I'll put the holes in this for holding the bottle stoppers. And then the other one is for the base that the vertical boards will attach into. So what I did is to set my maximum distance in for the dados to go to be the thickness of the board itself at 3 eighths of an inch. So that'll give me that maximum depth and I'll cut those and then to widen that I will sneak up on it as I edge over a little bit at a time until the tongues fit into the grooves or the dados that I'm cutting. <laughs> Now 
this being the base for the stand, after I get these dados cut, I'm going to come back again, cut another one down the middle here for the lower support to go into. Okay, so I moved my fence over slightly, and I'm going to run these through again. And I'll keep adjusting that until the tongues of these boards fit into the groove for the dado perfectly. <laughs> Now for doing the center dado on this baseboard, I'm going to space that at the outside of the tooth here is an inch and three eighths from the fence. That'll put that line down here. Then I'll keep adjusting the fence over in this direction to widen the dado until it fits the tongue. <laughs> There I have a good fit with that one. Now I've got all these boards cut up with all the tongues and dados cut into them. Now I'm going to cut them into 12 inch sections. i got three feet here. I'm going to cut them into 12 inch lengths. So I stacked them all up here. Got everything back against the fence here. Got these all even on the edges. So they're all good and square. Then I'm going to hold on to this. Pass it through the saw. <laughs> So I've got three of these sets set up. I can start making the holes for the bottle stoppers to set into and assemble them and I'll have enough for like 36 bottle stoppers with these three. Okay, so for these top parts that the bottle stoppers are going to fit into, there are these upper rails or tracks. I'm going to drill holes in these for the bottle stoppers to sit into. This is a 12 inch piece. I marked a center line along the length of the board. Then the holes start out at one inch in from the edge. Then from each center is two inches. That gives me a total of six stoppers that I can put on each one of these boards. Okay, so for each of these holes, I'm going to drill a three quarter inch portion or bit hole through it. So I'll go through and do up all of these like that. The next step is going to be rounding over the top edges on all of these and inside the holes. Bottom sides I won't need to do, I'll just do these top edges. And the base, I'll round over this top edge because this is where the vertical boards are going to go in for holding these. The vertical boards themselves don't need to be rounded over at all. So it's just doing this and I'll be doing all of these in this manner. So I'm rounding over the correct side. <laughs> Now I did decide to round over on the bottom side here also and on the holes uh, just to smooth it over a little bit more and give it a better effect. Hey now for assembling these parts. So the backboard will go on like this into that tongue and dado slot. This one will go on to that slot. And this rail will go up here for all the stoppers. Once you get it all glued together this will hold together better. So those will go together like that, get it all glued up, and then it'll be a lot more stable, and it will hold the uh, bottle stoppers. Uh, each of these racks will hold 12 stoppers. Here I'm gluing these racks together, putting in the long back here. I've got a square up against it to hold it straight, because these do move a little bit. This one fit fairly snug and stays straight. Then I'll put on these racks for holding the bottle stoppers once these are set. Now these I'm gluing up here. This one stays pretty straight. This one needs a little help and support to make it straight. And then I'll be putting the back pieces on on these and then of course the rail pieces here. All right, so I've got these all glued up and assembled together and I spray varnish them with some clear aerosol lacquer from Minwac. Gives them a great protective coating and it'll look good for the shows. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got the inspiration to make something of your own. If you did, please give me a like and share it with your family, friends, colleagues, and fellow craftspersons. Also, to see what I may come up with next in the future, 
please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on anything. To wrap this up, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they should find you crafty. Thank you.